Hey beautiful bastards, today I have for you only one simple question. Are you sick and tired from that lady dead VS which dominates unfortunately divisions to PvP game for more than 9 months? If yes, then today I have for you perfect build which is gonna delete those intimidate and adrenaline rush users and actually it's so off meta that I will call this build meta. <laughs> hey, 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 that butcher in the building, you know, you know what time it is. Welcome to Insanity and actually we're gonna use Ranger talent, but if we're gonna talk about Lady Dead, I really hate that I'm forced to use SMG class in the game right now, because I really love Assault Rifle class, and the biggest issue with Assault Rifles is of course crit chance, here we're gonna use Cheshka, but nevertheless, I remember those old good days when we got Eagle and that bad boy received nerf basically after a couple weeks but lady that is here i guess forever anyway man so maybe you would ask butch why this build is so off meta and i would say bastard first of all because i'm awesome and i'm one of the best in the game <laughs> i'm terrible sorry guys no this build is so off meta that we are actually using ranger Talent. Ranger is kind of sleeper and really underrated talent, but I think it works really well with Assault Rifle class since the perfect range for our combat will be 15-20 meters and you can amplify your damage by each 5 meters and from bigger range your damage will be better and better and if you're gonna use for example Police M4 which has a really nice accuracy and stability or even SIG you're gonna destroy people across the map and if you have really good hands my aim is potato man I have potato aim but I, tr I really believe that this build in really good hands can do massive massive da damage guys so try this build ranger is one of the best talents for assault rifle class of course you could use optimist maybe you could use vigilance as your backpack talent but i really hate once you will receive incoming damage vigilance will be not active and with this meta right now where everybody's trying to be in your face vigilance is no no at least for me but before we start Today I want to recommend to you my partners, a site for boosting services dwing.net. If you want to get an eagle or any other exotic as well as equip a cool build using items from the dark zone, then these guys will help you to get this and much more in a short time. They have updated prices and deadlines for all services. The boost works with account sharing so they do everything for you without cheats or bug abuse. I have tested this service myself so I can recommend you these guys easily. They can be trusted man. And of course with my promo code you will get 15% discount on all services. This site has been working for many years, it has a lot of clients, reviews and payment methods man. If you didn't get my promo code or you have any questions feel free to type your message and operator will reply immediately but now let's get back to my build and most important synergy here is between our talent aka charm and vigilance why vigilance works so damn good with ranger talent as well because it has no range limitations just like trauma talent you can apply bleed effect and blind effect across the map but wicked basically will be active immediately or will be activated immediately once you will apply status effect man and ranger is really nice as well since with each 5 meters you will receive amplified weapon damage boost guys optimist for example will give you only extra damage it will not amplify your current damage that's a huge difference that's the reason why I say this right now is one of the best if not the best weapon damage talents in the game right now because it simply amplifies your damage by 20% 
so there is not a lot of competition I I think maybe in sync and I would say even perfect in sync would co basically come close to that say this talent and guys in general if you want to be updated all the best PvP PV builds guides you know where you have to be Butcherland is the answer so with no further ado let's get into it. for specialization we gonna use firewall Unfortunately, as you know, Flamethrower is still overpowered in PvP. You can one-shot people left, right and center. Striker Shield will increase your DPS output and Medkit, which will give you armor regen for 10 seconds, is absolutely amazing in this build since we have armor regen here as well. So, Firewall Specialization is absolutely must-have and regen, man! Armor Regen is really handy in DZ and in conflict. If you're gonna play smart, you're gonna deal ridiculous damage and you can find multiple agents. But for my main weapon, I'm using Police M4. It has really nice accuracy, stability, and I, I think main thing is stability, but you could apply on this bad boy as well. Link it laser pointer attachment from technician specialization. You can put 10% crit damage mod from firewall specialization. So it's really really good assault rifle and I'm using ranger talent which will amplify our damage by each 5 meters from our tar target, excuse me. So ranger is really nice with trauma and wicked talent. Since trauma has no range limitations you're gonna apply status effect across the map and at the same time you will activate wicked and everything works really really nicely in this build for second weapon i'm using exotic rifle sniper rifle nemesis for those teams or players who absolutely don't leave checkpoints or camp behind the covers i just snipe for the headshots and that's all she wrote so nemesis is really really handy weapon in conflict as well but you could use maybe second assault rifle like eagle for pistol i'm using orbit with perfect finisher everything is really simple here kill somebody switch your main weapon and you will receive crit chance and crit damage boost and in this build we have more than 50 percent crit chance i think 52 53 percent crit chance and crit damage is of course not that high but we have armor again which will increase our survivability we have of course amplified weapon damage from ranger and wicked so and trust me blind effect from trauma is kind of underrated as well when you will apply the blind hold my be a boy i will slap your dirty ass can i say that on youtube <laughs> anyway, for the year I'm using one piece from Bella Stone Armory because it will provide me with 1% armor regen. And on my gear I have crit damage, armor regen and mod slot, of course maximum crit damage. For chess piece I'm using Cheshka. Like I said, when we are using assault rifle class, Cheshka is kind of necessary to be efficient or effective with your weapon. So, you have to use Cheshka and I'm rocking Trauma Talent which is gonna apply two status effects. One is of course Blind and Bleed and that will activate for us Wicked. One of the best synergies in the game but again just like Ranger Talent I feel that nobody is using this combo especially on Xbox. I'm playing on Xbox and uh, Trauma is really rare talent in PvP. Man, but I don't know why because I think you can get more damage with trauma instead for example if you would use uh, exotic rigway sprite chess piece because you don't have gear piece talent like for example from trash cakes to crit chance so with trauma you can apply the same bleed maybe you say this and you can get extra damage but rigway sprite chess piece again will give you extra uh, regen it depends on your preference but I think with trauma you can get more DPS and in conflict definitely you need more DPS for DZ maybe more survivability but conflict is all about DPS and those nasty skill builds if you use sticky bomb you know I hate you I hate you <laughs> I'm playing, I love you all. For holster, I'm using Golan again with crit damage armor again. For backpack, I'm using again Golan but with perfectly wicked talent crit chance and crit damage. 
Of course, I could maybe take out one armor regen attribute from my gear and put crit chance, and with that I could use maybe crit damage mods, but again, I have to remind to you all guys, please use crit chance mods on your weapon. Because crit chance mods will give you much better value than crit damage. 5% crit chance is much more valuable than 5% crit damage. Remember that, always use crit chance on your weapon and then optimize or maximize crit damage on your build. For rest of the gear everything is really simple, I'm using Fenris gloves for assault rifle damage and Murakami knee pads for one more percent extra crit, uh, crit damage, excuse me, armor regen and in that way we have 3% armor regen with this build. For skills I'm using Seeker Mine and Shield, Striker Shield, Seeker Mine will apply bleed effect, I'm using this for activating that status effect or wicket immediately from range, so you could use maybe Stinger Half again, it depends on your preference, but this build is really really handy, we have armor again, we have amplified weapon damage, we have status effects, we have wicket, and it will work in DZ and in conflict, it's really versatile build, you could switch out armor again pieces for crit damage, for extra weapon damage, like for fox prayers knee pads, contractors gloves, and so on, so play around, I, I'm just giving you templates, and see you in the next one, Butcher is dropping the mic.